Hello, I am Rachel, one of your MLS instructors with MetroTex, and I have WJ Miles here with me as well. Hello, everyone. And we are going to talk to you about how to prepare for the upcoming changes to Matrix. Those are coming on uh, March 1st. And so we want to show you how to update your saved searches, your auto emails, and your hot sheets that may have some fields in them that are going to be going away. So to start out, we are going to go over how to update your saved searches. So I'm logged in here to Matrix. And in Matrix, I'm going to go up to My Matrix. And I'm going to click on Saved Searches. Here are all of my saved searches. Okay, and I'm going to find the save search that has the areas included. So this top one up here, area 25. And I'm gonna click on the name of that save search to expand it out and to view the settings for that search. All right, and I'm going to click on criteria right here to edit the search criteria in that save search. Alrighty, so this saved search has the MLS areas included in it, and those are going to be going away in the new version of Matrix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to where the areas and sub areas are. And I'm going to be removing those from my search criteria for this search. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to remove it. Okay. And then I've got a couple of options for what I can do. That one was an area 25 search. So what I could do is I could come up to my city right here and I could put in University Park and a comma and Highland Park. Okay, got an extra space in there. So I could put in a city instead of the areas if I wanna use that. I could always use a zip code as well. If you're not wanting to use a city or a zip code, another thing that you can do is you can come up to the top here where it says map search. And I'm going to click on that blue map search. And that's going to open up a little map here. So I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can see. Okay. And then I've got a map tool up here in the top left-hand corner that is layers. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm going to add my areas. Okay, so that is going to layer the areas over the top of the map for me. And I can zoom in on my map, just scrolling forward on my mouse to area 25. Over here on the right hand side, we have some map tools. So I am going to click on draw polygon. And then I'm going to come over to my map and I'm going to click somewhere on my map and that's going to set an anchor point. And now when I drag my mouse out, you'll see that little blue line follows my mouse. And I'm going to trace around this area. So I'm going to do my best to trace around area 25 here. One thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to skip that little part right there. And I'll show you how we can kind of edit this. So I'm just going to keep clicking anytime I need to move. And I'm going to connect that back to my starting point. And then if there are some areas down here that maybe I forgot, I can come to the edge of my area. When I see that little kind of yellow circle, I can click and hold down my mouse and drag it down if I want to edit the outline there of my shape. There we go. Okay, so once I've got that looking how I like it, I'm going to come down here and click on this blue button for OK. And Rachel, it's really important they do that right now because that map layer is going to go away when the new matrix launches, right? 
That is correct. That little map tool that layers all of those area boundaries over the top is going to be going away. So it's important that we come in here now while we still have it to save all this if we want to. Okay, so now it says map area selected at the top. So I know I've got that one in there. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom and click this blue save button. That's going to take me to the settings for my search. So if I wanna change the name of that, I can. Down here, it's showing me my search criteria. And I just need to make sure to click that save button right here as well. Okay, when I click that, it's going to let me know that it has updated my save search. And I can also kind of double check that by clicking on results right here under that search. It's going to be all of the results for that one. And I can click on the map right here. And there we go. We can see that shape that I put over my map for area 25. Okay, so that's how you can update your saved search. Now let's go into how to update an auto email. So for an auto email, I'm going to come up to my matrix again. And this time I'm going to click on auto emails. This is going to be all of my auto emails. And I'm going to find the one that I want to edit. So I have one here, area 11 auto email that I want to update. I'm going to click on the name of that one to open up all of my settings, everything I can do with it. And I'm going to click on criteria going to be very similar to what we just did. So here is all of my search criteria for that auto email. And we're going to scroll down again. Here is our area that we've got in there. So I'm going to take that out since those are going away. Again, if I wanted to add a city, a zip code, some other way to search, I could do that here. Or I could go back up to my map search, click on that. And we're going to repeat those same steps. So I'm going to make that a little bigger so we can see. We're going to go to our layers over here. And we are going to check next to areas. Then we are going to zoom in on the area. So I want to do area 11. So I'm going to zoom in on that one. Over here, we have our map tools. So I'm going to click on draw polygon. And I'm going to come over to my map. I'm going to set my anchor point. And I'm just going to trace around area 11 as best as I can. This sounds a little bit easier because it's a little bit more like a square. And I'm going to trace around there. There's my area 11. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click my OK button down here. There we go, we see map area selected, so we are good to go. I'm gonna click Save. Okay, this takes me into the settings for my auto email, so if I need to change anything here, I can do that. But the main thing to do is to come all the way down to the bottom and make sure that you check that little Save button. Make sure you click that. Alrighty, and it lets us know that we have updated that auto email. Alrighty, so that is our saved searches and our auto emails. WJ, do you want to go over how to update our hot sheets? Yes, there's another one uh, here that you might need to edit. That would be your hot sheets that you may have saved for the areas. So here on the home page of Matrix, you have a uh, widget or a little box that's labeled hot sheets. The bottom left hand corner of that is customize. So you'll go into customize. <clears throat> the hot sheet that you want to edit would be there on the left. You're going to highlight it in blue and then you're going to hit edit criteria on the right. And again, we'll scroll down to the bottom where the areas are. Remove that area. And we could do the same thing that Rachel just did on the save searches and auto emails. You could do cities, you could do zip codes. We'll do the map one more time just so that you can see it. So go up to the map. We're going to 
make this window larger so that you can see all of it. The first thing you do is go to the layers in the top left hand corner and turn on areas. Very important you do this now because this is not going to be there in the new tool. So then we're going to zoom in on the area that we want. And she's going to draw the polygon by selecting draw polygon. Each time you click, it places an anchor. So when you change direction, you'll click again. And then the last thing you do is go back where you started. That encloses the shape. And then we'll hit the OK button in the bottom right hand corner. And then we're going to hit the Save button here on the hot sheet. And now you have updated that hot sheet. So you'd hit the Done in the bottom left hand corner. <clears throat> so it's important that you do all of these things now before the new system launches. When they um, take the system down on February 28th, all of this is going to carry over into the new system. So make sure that any of your um, hot sheets, auto emails, save searches, that you edit those. Very important date is February 28th at 4 p.m. The system is going to go, be taken down. If you have anything you need to do on that date, entering listings, uh, sending search to clients, whatever, do it before 4 p.m. on February 28th. The system will not come back up until, until 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. on the 1st. So we're going to have an outage there. But you have other ways that you can search the MLS. We have other products. Our main backup is Netris, or excuse me, uh, Cloud MLX. Okay, you can search our MLS there. You can also search in RPR. It takes a download from our MLS. And Remine also takes a download. So those systems will be up. You'll be able to see our listings in those three listings. So we are here at the MLS department to support you. Our direct number is 214-540-2755. Our email address is MLS at DFW. RE.com.